Today, we're going to talk about women who leave men for the most trivial of things and have nothing to offer themselves except perhaps intimacy and notions of entitlement. We're going to discuss seven reasons why men are weary of women and why women are making it easier for men to go MGTOW. What if I told you that a modern woman will likely dump a guy after a seemingly insignificant incident or for the most trivial of things? It shouldn't come as a surprise given how commonly this happens now, but let me give you guys an example in order for you to better understand and visualize this. Modern women lose when they look for perfection. So, imagine a guy who has everything. You know the sixes. A six-pack, six-foot height, six-figure income. And a car, an epic apartment along with a great career. On top of it, the guy is attractive, social, and popular. He checks all the right boxes. Despite the fact that nobody is perfect, this guy meets her requirements and is the man she has always desired. It seemed that he was the kind of man that every woman in the present era fantasizes about. Despite the fact that she recognized he possessed every positive quality she was looking for, she dumped him because he had an old car. She did something that was both foolish and immature. Knowing fully well that this man would be an excellent spouse for her and a fine father for her children, a girlfriend of hers inquired as to what had transpired. Actually, this fickle woman was headed for a happy marriage with a terrific man when she suddenly decided that he wasn't good enough since he drove an old car. This is only one reason why finding a good woman may be so difficult for males. We're meant to be in a tolerant era and most people concur that consumerism is bad. But it appears that many contemporary women are still materialistic and willing to dump a guy for the most trivial reasons. At least he has a running vehicle. The windows can move up and down. There is air conditioning in it. It takes you to many destinations, but you throw the person out because the car is too old. A car is difficult to replace, but a shallow woman is incredibly simple to change. Think about that. This makes males doubt the ability of a nice, devoted girl to care for and support them. The most sensible decision a man can make is to simply refrain from dating because it appears that the concept of having a good relationship is slowly fading into obscurity. Women can be self-centered and not care for equality. Men are growing weary of modern women, as seen by the aforementioned anecdote. They may be so unreasonable with men, Yet men only expect simple qualities like support, loyalty, and understanding. However, the majority of women today are unable to even do that. A woman is just not good enough if all she offers you is intimacy and talent in bed. We are constantly being encouraged to think about this by the media and other contemporary notions. Observe the adverts and billboards in your neighborhood. There are lots of semi-naked women which causes both men to view women as treasures and women to objectify themselves. Not only do large corporations exploit women's beauty to advertise their goods, but every day, girls also subscribe to feminist ideologies and publish provocative images on dating apps in an effort to be accepted. They do, however, also lament that men, particularly the desperate ones, objectify them. She is a 304 if she behaves like one by walking, talking, and acting in that manner. Men are sick of the way the modern dating scene treats them as throwaway objects. Women are over-influenced by popular culture. As much as women want their ideal man to have a certain personality, it is simply the result of social conditioning from Disney and Hollywood films. It's all about material stuff, consumerism, and materialistic notions that revolve all around us. Instead of a man who manages his finances well, Chad and Tyrone are more exciting for the average woman. Most likely, your current vehicle serves your needs well, negating the need for a second one. You'd rather invest in something else or save the money you'd be using for the car payments. Men are quite straightforward, however. Women often become weary of their purchases quickly and crave new things. Do not forget that women make up the majority of consumers in the economy. So, it makes sense that they always have enormous bags with them when they visit a mall. Of course, if the guy falters at any moment, the girl has the right to consider other options. 
I'm not denying that. Women's selfishness encourages Megto. Long ago, the majority of people accepted the notion that women are naturally valuable and males are forced by nature to establish their own value. Megtao accepts the unfairness of life. Unlike contemporary women who seek out the best men without contributing anything of value to the relationship. The majority of men put a lot of effort into developing themselves and adding value, and you know what? When they go home from work after a long day at work and are in a relationship, they don't consider mistreating their partners. Men who are committed to a partnership to drive to support their families and do not mistreat women or young people. Truth be told, all men want is peace. A man needs to be in a position of leadership, but the boss babe narrative is being advanced in today's world to convince women that they don't need men and to even denigrate them as filth. Be honest for a moment. Not all men and women are good people, and I'm not claiming that every woman is materialistic 304. I base my decisions on facts. I want you guys to recognize the trends and follow them. Of all, being a man is not simple, especially in today's society. Due to unpleasant dating experiences, unfounded accusations, or simply because women don't provide anything to the relationship besides sexual intimacy, many men have already welcomed Mekta. It's normal to think about going your own way for a bit, if not permanently if you're a man and all the women you wind up with are entitled and annoying. They seek good men while they case Chad and Tyrone. Some women continue to ask where the good men are despite all the evidence urging males to avoid the dating scene. The good men are not in outer space or on a barren island. You were unaware of them even though they were and are in front of you. I firmly believe that women should learn how to appreciate being alone rather than hopping from man to man and feeling frustrated that they can't find a partner, just as many men are learning to do. This is why Megtel is so powerful. A good dose of isolation and reflection would be beneficial. Instead of focusing on themselves to improve what they have to offer, they would rather fantasize about the qualities they want in a partner. Although these women frequently voice their complaints, do they make every effort to improve themselves? Not at all. Men are realizing they didn't need to put women on pedestals. It's not enough to just work out and put on more makeup particularly if they do it after running into the wall. Women only need to keep their beauty at the age of 18, whilst guys are literally nobodies. Men are beginning to realize the truth and are no longer ready to treat women like idols. Women shouldn't be exalted since they're just like everyone else, and they also make mistakes just like everyone else. For example, believing that giving a guy pleasure in bed is sufficient to keep them around. As a result, when Chad arrives, she tries to confine him in the hopes that he will become the man she has always desired. Chad, on the other hand, gets what he wants, including some quick action and increasing her body count. Chad does not seek commitment, as some of the nice guys she met in her 20s did. The nice guys don't want to come in and clean up the mess now that she's been run through by multiple men. It doesn't matter how she moves on top of a guy. What matters is her emotional baggage. It's not a man's responsibility to be a lifelong therapist for women who made bad decisions all their life. Don't let these women of today ruin your emotional stability. Nothing is more priceless than that. I wish you great success, but now I want you to tell me what you think of modern women who only want the greatest guys and don't provide anything else but intimacy. Have you ever met a woman that fits that description? If so, Please feel free to share your experience in the comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the bell icon to subscribe for more videos.